Hi there, this is Danny, and the channel is You and Me Living Free, and today I'm going to talk about Paige, Arizona. <laughs> okay, I have spent, I spent four or five nights in Paige recently because, whether you know this or not, you can check on the map, Paige, Arizona is kind of a hub. It's kind of a central point. There's a Glen Canyon Dam, which is there. And then um, because of Glen, actually because of Glen Canyon Dam, that's why Page exists. The dam created the lake and then we have all this industry and all this tourism and everything that sprang up, right? So there's also Horseshoe Bend. There's also Antelope Canyon. Maybe one or two of those videos I already did and showed you. Maybe one or two of those is coming up. So you have a lot to look forward to. But I kind of have a love-hate thing for Paige, okay? It was my home base as I did this other exploring. So I'm very grateful to it for that. It was a perfect location with everything right there. And so, which is obvious, it's a complete tourist town. There's like 20 hotels. There's only 7,000 permanent residents, I think, in Page. So let me tell you what I loved slash hated. I hate, I don't, I don't really wanna use the word hated. I love slash didn't love or I love slash was frustrated with, <laughs> okay? So first of all, whenever you're in a town, there's like a handful of things you look for, right, that you need. If you're gonna go off boondocking and stuff, when you come to a town, if you're me, you need a few things. You need fuel, you need food, you need um, showers and laundry. What else? Showers, laundry, food. Okay, I mean, that's, and Wi-Fi. You need Wi-Fi, especially if you have a YouTube channel and you need to upload videos and you need to do work and have correspondence and check email and do things like that. So you need Wi-Fi. So first of all, let's talk about where I stayed. Most nights I stayed in the Walmart parking lot and there were so many other um, vans and RVs and vehicles of all kinds, people that stayed overnight. I've never been to a Walmart that had as many campers and vehicles and everything parked overnight and as this one did, and semis too. But I've never seen anything like it before. Even in Albuquerque, during the balloon festival, there weren't as many people parked overnight at Walmart as there were at this page. Now, there are some areas where Walmart will not let you park overnight. So I am extremely grateful that I had this place. That was one thing I love about Page, right? Is the location. You can't beat the location of Page. And number two, the Walmart is right there. It's got the low prices. I shop there because they let me stay for free and I appreciate it and I put that back in. Um, and so the Walmart, good, good. And even the Walmart had a nice view. I didn't take any pictures, but even the Walmart had a great, like you could see sunrise and sunset on the rocks behind Walmart and stuff. So it was not a bad place at all. I felt completely safe. There were all these other people around. So loved all of that. <laughs> the laundry. So... <laughs> There are two or th there are two different laundromats. When I looked at the listings, there were actually three, but one was questionable if it was even open. One had like two stars on Yelp and the other one had like four stars on Yelp. So I went and it was called Page Laundry and it was full of these beautiful brand new machines, all stainless and everything. I mean, it looked flawless, but listen to this. Here's the love-hate part. I'm in this beautiful laundromat I mean, beautiful. How many laundromats are beautiful? Not many, but it was so pristine and so new and so cool. And then I'm looking around. There's not one chair, no chairs, no benches, no place to sit down whatsoever. So you load in your laundry and then you walk out to your car and set a timer. And so I was just, I was kind of disappointed. Can I say? I was just... My ritual is I do my laundry, I upload a YouTube video, I enjoy the Wi-Fi. None of that was happening, but at least I got laundry. At least it was someplace clean, right? Another thing is you need to do you need to do laundry. I need a library. So 
I couldn't find the Wi-Fi at the laundry, so I went to the library. I looked for a Starbucks because I really needed to sit and do for a while. There's only one Starbucks in the whole town of Page, and it's in a supermarket, so that didn't really count. So I went to the library, and Page has a beautiful library. It sits on a hill and it has, you go into this into this adult reading room and the back is all windows and it's sandstone and there's, you can see the sandstone in the, in the view. It's gorgeous, it's inspiring, it's beautiful. The women who were working in the library were delightful and so nice, to, so kind to me. I've never met kinder people, I don't think, than are at, that are at um, libraries. <laughs> librarians and people who work in libraries are really nice anyway but the wi-fi was so slow i uploaded a 15 minute video to youtube and it took almost two hours i uploaded a 10 minute video and it took over an hour and i was like i can't handle this i can't do this <laughs> so i i i stayed for an entire afternoon and only got two videos uploaded <laughs> So here's the other thing that I do not like about Paige. Okay, another thing is there's no good food. Okay, I say there's no good food. I'm eating in my van most of the time, but once in a while, if it's been a really long day, I just, I need something, I need a warm meal and I don't want to go through cooking it myself, cleaning up the mess. Sometimes it's kind of a pain in the van and it depends on what kind of food I have and it depends on a lot of things, but I do like to eat out once in a while and I'm doing it less and less, but still every once in a while when I need it, I feel like I need it. Plus I thought maybe I can get a restaurant with Wi-Fi, right? So I went to a Mexican restaurant. Okay. On Yelp, this place had four stars. The only place better rated on Yelp was a barbecue restaurant, but I'm from Kansas City and I'm not going to go to Page, Arizona to eat barbecue because it's not going to be as good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have, we have Arthur Bryant's, right? We have Gates. And those are like original, old school, real deal, been around forever. And then if you're on the upscale side, we have Jack Stack and we have Q39. Like Kansas City does barbecue amazingly well. So I wasn't going to go to a barbecue restaurant. It's like... I make really good um, biscuits and gravy, so I don't go out to a restaurant and order biscuits and gravy because I know it's not going to be as good as mine, <laughs> and I'm just going to be disappointed, so I just don't do it, okay? I don't do it. Okay, another rabbit trail, right? Sorry. Where was I? So I went to this restaurant. I'm not even going to say what it was, but it was a Mexican restaurant, and it was supposed to be authentic Mexican, and it was terrible. Here's the thing I've here's the thing I've realized. Kansas City must have really amazing Mexican food too. I know they do because I've been to so many places in the Southwest that I thought, well, at least they'll have good Mexican food, won't they? I mean, they've got to have, I, I mean, I'm just assuming. Maybe that's just a silly thing to assume. I'm getting the point that it kind of is. But the smaller towns in the Southwest do not necessarily have good Mexican food. And this was awful. <laughs> anyway, here's one last thing about Paige. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad for everybody who, I, I know I'm positive a lot and I will spin things and I will have a positive perspective most of the time, but I'm human and things get, get frustrating or get irritating. Here's one of the most irritating things of all. No, it's the most irritating thing about Paige <laughs> is that no matter where I was, when I would pull up my phone to get directions to go somewhere, I would, I would say three out of five times at least, I wouldn't even have enough cell coverage to get directions it wouldn't even pull it up. And this was at the top of the hill, at the bottom of the hill, at the Walmart, at, at the library, wherever I was, um, I couldn't get enough cell coverage. Sometimes I could have enough to send a text, but I couldn't have enough to Google anything or to check my YouTube comments or anything. Or sometimes it would come in and out. Like if I was at Walmart, 
one minute it wouldn't be sending a picture with a text and then the next minute I I I couldn't even check YouTube at all. The next minute I was answering comments on YouTube. It was completely sporadic. And I have AT&T, so either Paige hates AT&T or just their connect their connectivity all over stinks. And it might be it's a remote city. There's not a lot around. I get it, but here's the thing. Here's why it was an issue, and this is what I'm realizing looking back, because this was a little while ago. I had expectations. When I'm out in the boonies, when I'm out, you know, in nature, I don't expect to have good cell coverage. I don't expect to be able to Google anything. I don't expect to be able to do, take care of business. So I try to plan my travel around Here's some time in town, here's some time out of town. Here's some time with people, without people, uh, in nature, getting stuff done. It's all a balancing act. Moving around, staying in one place, right? Like it's all this huge fluid balancing act. And I had expectations for Paige that were not met. I expect that when I'm in a town and I want to go have directions to go somewhere great, I can get there. Or just to get back to Walmart to sleep for the night that I can get there. I drove around one time for 20 minutes just trying to get enough signal to get directions to go where I wanted to go. <laughs> it was beyond frustrating. It was so frustrating for me. And I don't know how fair that is, <laughs> how fair of an assessment, but... Um, but I thought it was worth saying. Also, on iOverlander, there's no place to take a shower that's listed in page. I didn't do my own research because, again, I could hardly ever get any cell coverage or Wi-Fi. So I went out to um, Lake Powell to take my shower, and that ended up being really great. It was only, I think, $2 or $4 for like a 15 minute shower and it was very clean, very nice, very good and Lake Powell's only 10 minutes away. I have a whole video on Lake Powell because I spent a night there and camped there that's coming up. Um, anyway, hate to be negative Nancy, but so I loved some things about Paige, really couldn't stand other things about Paige. So, um, but here's the thing, it's a necessity because there were so many things around it I wanted to see. There was no getting away from it. And even now I came from Page to like Vermilion Cliffs area and now I'm um, in um, at the Grand Canyon on the North Rim, preview of coming attractions, and just looking back at my Page experience and there still no have been no towns. I, I still have not had decent Wi-Fi since, I don't think I've had decent Wi-Fi since Albuquerque. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Flagstaff. That's where I'm probably going next. And um, I'm looking forward to some decent Wi-Fi Flagstaff because I know you got the Starbucks there. And I know you've got I know you got great service. So anyway, um, hate to be kind of picking on Paige. It was very hospitable. Every person I met there was very nice. Um, I just had some issues because I had expectations set up and they weren't met. But isn't that so often where my upset or where anything negative comes from is like I ha expected this and it didn't happen. So I really just needed to shift and get back into the flow but instead, I kind of stayed frustrated for a little while. I didn't even realize kind of how frustrated I was. I was kind of let, trying to let it go, but it was kind of still simmering in me. And we'll see that come up <laughs> in another couple of videos. Um, I'm going to talk about that. But is that all I wanted to say about Paige? It is. And I, now I'm feeling kind of bad. Like, Paige, I'm sorry, dude. I don't want to pick on Paige. Great location. It's a necessity. I th I'm grateful to Walmart to have the place there. There was a little bit of BLM around, but not much because there's a ton of um, Navajo reservation land out there. So there was some um, national recreation spots that were like $14 a night. And I was going to do those, but I ended up doing Lake Powell and the Walmart in, in Lowell. In Lowell. And Paige. Anyway, now I'm really rambling. If you made it to the end of this video, you definitely deserve a medal. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching. And um, let's do something more like nature oriented and more fun next time, okay? <laughs> I promise. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.